Good morning, grade twos. How are you this morning? I am well. It's a lovely Thursday morning. It is the 23rd of July, 2020. So this morning we are going to be talking about fractions and we'll do revision in between. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see. Uh, today we've got Shami Kosa, Kacheta, Obi, Dube, Una, Oritabi Site, Shane, Elijah, and Aurora. I welcome you. I think we've got some more. Bess, okay. There is Bess. I welcome you guys. Uh, great twos. Let's see who else is there. Uh, Elijah, I've mentioned this faith. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Kamuhelo, we welcome you. Let's see. Lama is here. Okay, welcome you. Nakisha. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, I think it's all of us. All right. Okay, let's start with our lesson for today. I trust that you'll enjoy. Okay. Okay, I want us to count in tens from 9 to 19. Okay. Let's count together. Ready? Go. 9, 19, 29, 39, 49, 59, 69, 79, 89, 99. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to count backwards from 99 to 74. Ready? Go. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, and 74. Good. Okay, I see Obichi, what do you want to say, my my dear? Good morning, how are you? I am fine. What did you want to say? Ma'am, my name is Obichi. It's who? That's love. You say your name is who? My, my name is Obichi. God's love. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. Hey, I've learned something today. Thank you. All right. Okay. Obichi says um, his name means God's love. Okay, right. Let's go. Okay. I want us now to do our mental maths. Remember we said that we come to class with our exercise books. Uh, with our stationary bags, our pencils, our pens, and our rulers. So I want us to individually uh, write the answers to this, and then we will share um, with each other. I'm also writing.
Okay, I am done. Let's see who wants to tell us. Okay, Elijah. Okay, yes, the first one, Elijah says it is seven. That's correct, four plus three, it's seven. So uh, give yourself a tick there. And then the next one, Elijah says it is six. Um, good, that's correct. And then the next one, Oritabisite and Obichi, yes, four plus three, it's, it's, uh, it's seven. And then the next one, four plus three plus three. Four plus three plus three. Okay, let's see, four plus three plus three. Okay, Bess. Bess, can you tell us what is four plus three plus three? Ma'am? Can you tell us what is four Man? plus, yes? My, mo my mother is asking for your email address so that I can she can send my homework to you. Oh, okay. At the end of the lesson, you will see my email address will show, okay? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, oh. it is 10. You say? It is 10. Okay. All right. Is it best? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Thanks. It is correct. It is 10. So you give yourself a tick there. Right, the next one, let's see. Shami, can you tell us what is the next one? Four yes. plus three plus three minus four. What's the answer? Um, four plus ten. three. I meant to say. Six, okay, that's correct. It is six, so all of us will Give ourselves a tick there if we got it correctly. Good, Sami. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see who's going to give us the last one. Um, the last one. Okay. Kacheta, Kacheta, can you tell us uh, what is the answer to the last one? Four plus three plus three plus three. Thirteen. How much? Thirteen. Thirteen, good. That's correct, Kacheta. Give yourself a, a tick there. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, that's correct. Give yourself a tick there. All right. Okay, let's go to the next one now. Let's go to the next. Okay, those were our answers. And we got them all correct. Seven, six, 10, six and 13, that's correct. Okay, so this is just a quick revision of our fraction. Um, one over two, it's one half, which is one part out of two parts. And one third is one over three, which is one part out of three parts, so one, two, three. And a quarter, one quarter, it's one, over four, uh, which is one part out of four parts, one, two, three, four. And then the last one, one fifth is one over five, which is one part out of five parts, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then just for math language there, the one, the number on top, we call it a numerator and then um, the number at the bottom 
we call it a denominator. Okay, that was just some revision. So this is the homework that we had. Okay, I, I, um, I want you not to be confused. In some of the um, shapes, you'll see that they've only shaded uh, one part. So here, we wanted to see half. We are introducing the concept of half. So here, you just look at a figure or a diagram, um, a shape which has been cut into half. So if you look at this one, you can see that it's been cut into half. The, the size on the left-hand side is exactly the same as the size on the right-hand side. So if we want to share among two people, it will be one part out of two parts, okay? So that's a tick for ourselves there. Give yourself a tick there. And if you look at this, it's a rectangle which has been divided into six equal parts. But here we're talking about half. So it means this is not correct. We go to the next one and it looks like a hamburger. Okay, you can see that um, it's been divided equally. So if you want to share, each person will get a half, one part out of two parts, which will be equal, okay? And then there we have a shape similar to that of a kite, sort of, right? So here we can see also that they've divided it into two equal parts, so we also give it a tick. If we want to share it amongst two people, they will each get an equal part, one part out of two parts, okay? And then we come to the next shape here. We see it's also a rectangle, and then um, it's also cut into four equal pieces, but we are looking for one part out of two parts. Here we've got one part out of how many parts? One, two, three, four, so it's not correct. It, it's, it, it's not an example of a sharing in half, okay? And then this triangle has been cut as well into three equal uh, triangles, okay? They are equal, but we are looking for half. So if they were to share, it means it's three people who will share. One, two, three people will share that equally. So it's not correct. And then we come to this rectangle again. Okay. Um, it's been cut into half. So you can see that if there are two people who are going to share, they will be sharing equally one part out of two parts that's correct and then we look at this one there um the circle has also been or your your pizza has been um um divided into four equal one two three four four equal parts okay so if there are four people each one will get one part out of one two three four parts so that is also not an example of sharing in halves. Okay, are there any questions? Everybody clear? So tick yourself on your homework um, as I have ticked here. Okay. Good, let's go to the next one. So this was also part of the homework here. They said, what is half the number of fruit in each group? So in the first one here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six apples. So they say, what is half the number of the fruit in each group? So what we've done is that we have shared them equally. 
they were all together they are six but when we share them equally so this one will get a one a one two two and two two so what is half the number of the fruit so here our answer will be three half of six is three if you share six equally each person will get three apples there then we come to the next one so you give yourself a tick there or if you did not get it correctly and um, just underline it and then write the correct answer there so there we've got four strawberries they say also what is half of the fruit in each group then um, it means when it's half it means it must be shared among two people so there's one person on this side there's one person on the so each person will get two so half of four is two good then we come to the next one and um, let's see how many we have all together one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we've got ten bananas, and then they they say, uh, what is half the number of the fruit? Meaning that, how much um, will each person get if two people were to to share equally? So, um, the first one gets one, the other one gets one. The next one one the other one one the next the next one one the other one one the next one one the other one one the next one one the other one one so let's see all together how much is each going to get so one two three four five so it means that each person will get five it means that half of 10 is five okay now we come to the last one here remember we said that we are going to take this as two and um, two pieces of fruit so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if we want to share this equally amongst two people you can see the first one will get two the other one will get two and then the next one gets two the other one will get two again and then we left with two two the other one will get two the next we get two so when we add them together it's one two three four five six then it means that half of twelve is six well done grade twos are there any questions anyone who got it correctly anyone who did not get it correct okay uh, tell us obichi All right, you can tell us, Obichi. Oh, I see Ntonto as well has raised his hand. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, um, you wanted to say? I wanted to say, ma'am. Um, can I ask you one question about the homework? About the? The homework. Um, okay. On this one. Nope, the, the new one. Oh, the new one. You want the new one already? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you will you will get it, okay? Okay. Sure. Okay, let's see. All right, here. Um we were given the sum okay three multiplied by two 
is the same as two threes. There are two threes. If you add them together, you get six. So that's the number name. And then the number symbol is that one. So I want you to give yourself a tick there if you got it correct. Okay, and then three plus three multiplied by three, it means three threes, okay? Three, 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 which is nine. So this is another way of representing three plus three plus three. It is three multiplied by three. And then there we've got three multiplied by four, which means it is three fours. Uh, and when you add them together, it's three, six, nine, 12. And there is your answer, 12. If you don't um, know them, the times tables of three by head, no stress, you can still use your counters, okay? So the last one there, it's three multiplied by five, uh, which is three fives, and it's three, six, nine, 12, 15. Then your answer is 15, or you can use your fingers uh, to do it, okay? Let's look at the next one. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so here we are talking about halves again. So we've got some stick people here. So there we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then half of six is, it means that you are going to share amongst two people. Then um, it is how much, okay? You're sharing them, the other one gets three and the other one will get three. It means half of six is three. Okay, so I want you to, to calculate this once. And then in a short while, uh, you will tell me what is your answer. Okay, I'm done. I see six hands are raised. Uh, Aurora, can you tell us the first one? Aurora, uh, what is your answer there? Half of eight is what? Aurora. Okay. What's your answer, Aurora? Hi. Okay. You didn't yeah. unmute me. That's why. Sorry? Hi, ma'am. Hi. Okay. What is, is what is half of eight? It's four. Four. Good. Thank you, Aurora. Give yourself a big tick there. Okay, and then let's see what is half of 10. Let's see who has not sp spoken to me. Prominence. Prominence, can you tell us what is half of 10? Half of 10 is five. It's five, thank you, good. Give yourself a tick there. I'm also giving myself a tick. And then there's the last one. Let's see who will do the last one for us. Okay. Shane Roberts. Okay. 
Can you tell us, Shane? What is half of four? Half of four and um, two. It's two. Good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. You give yourself a big tick there. Wonderful. Okay. So now let's go to the next part. Okay. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. Obichi has been looking for homework. Okay. So let's see what we have here today. The first one says, a farmer has 15 apples. He packs bags with four apples in each bag. So how many bags can he pack? That is the first question. How many bags can he pack? And then the second one is how many apples will he have over? Okay. And then let's see the next one. Okay, mom shares 20 rand amongst all her children. Each child gets five rand. How many children does mom have? Mom shares 20 rand amongst all her children. Each child gets five rand. And how many children does mom have? Okay. So here is my email address. If you need me to send you the homework or also if you need to submit the homework, please submit here so that we can have all your activities together. Remember, we said that on the 30th, on the 30th, we just want to, to write um, some form of assessment just for us to check, also for you to check yourself how far are you um, in terms of what you are supposed to learn for grade twos. Are there any questions, grade twos, before I say goodbye? I see some hands there. Okay. Oh, Tabby Sita, what did you want to say? Or Tabi Sita, what did you want to say? Or Tabi Sita, what did you want to say? What did you want to say? I was wanting to say, can I request my homework? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, I will send it to you. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Um, great twos. I will see you all tomorrow. Do enjoy your lessons and I will send through your homework. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.